Let's play. Let's play music and let's play games that teach us how to play music. This is me in my booth in Orlando 2018. This is where I learned that music teachers love my music games. This is my booth in Coral Gables later that year where the same thing happened. Music teachers love the board games. This one is called My Recital, and it's the first board game I ever made. This one is called The Big Seven, and I made it for my beginner students who wanted a game that they could understand. It features the things I want my early students to know before they begin reading music. This one is called My Note Chart, and it's for students who are just beginning to learn middle C position for piano. All the games come with a die with musical notes to tell the number of spaces to be moved. And also a key that you can put down on the table in front of them until they learn how many beats each note gets or each combination of notes gets. Music teachers also like this one for teaching note value. It's called movable music. It's all wood except for the cards and they are a nice stiff card stock. The next step up from movable music is called Measure Madness. It is color coded according to how many beats and allows students to make measures with different time signatures and more types of notes and also the rests. And for the advanced students, we have the advanced Measure Madness. Although this one has different colors, it is definitely not color coded. So students really have to know how many beats each one of these notes or rest gets. It comes with the study key and instructions. I like to use it as a test and I tell students they have to use each type of note and rest at least once and put the correct number of beats in a measure with each of the different time signatures. Magnet boards are a wonderful visual aid. Here's one of my tables and we're going to zoom right in on the magnet board which is another very popular product. You can choose to have the G clef with the little keyboard under it, or the F clef with the little keyboard under it, or you can have the grand staff with the little keyboard under it. We can also make a ledger line magnet board and include whatever size you need for the notes that you need for a student to learn. This one I call C to C to C. I also have quite a few books. Some of them are geared toward teaching in the Montessori classroom um, because many Montessori schools hire music teachers to come in and teach music for them. And I came across these darling jumbo composer peg dolls. So if you should want to teach your students about the composers and give them something they can hold in their hand uh, with three-part cards that give a little history of each composer, you should contact Crystal Polino and here is her information. Thank you for visiting my virtual booth. Please also visit my showcase video, AMI and Anna Maria Macaroni, especially if you've ever been asked to teach music in a Montessori school. This is a brochure I always have on my tables at the conferences to show the different books and other products that I have available. You can find them on my website. You can text me to my phone number or send me an email. My email address and phone number will be at the end of this video. 
Okay, get ready. Here's living proof that teachers really do love this game. <laughs> Dennis was very soft. This video has shown a few of my products, but I have many more products on my website. Please contact me. I'd love to hear from you. You can text me at my phone number or email me at this email address. God bless you.